Yeah. It, well, what happened was uh, your post you made. Yeah. You started it. <laughs> you started when you said to do the New York Pro, and then I reposted it, and I made a poll. And everybody was like, yeah, do it. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and today we are joined by the winner of the 2023 New York Pro. I'm pleased to welcome Tony Burton back to Desktop Bodybuilding in a one-on-one -on -one post show. Man, it's only what been a matter of one to two hours since you won the New York Pro. How's it all sinking in, feeling? It's crazy. It's still, still hard to believe that it happened. Like I said, this isn't a show that I would have picked out. You know, in the next couple of years, maybe never a pro debut and. I still feel like I'm still on the level of still growing. So it wouldn't have been a show for me to just, okay, I'm going to do it now. But now knowing that I'm ready to do so, I mean, uh, I believe I can swim with the big fish now. Absolutely, man. Like you beat Justin Rodriguez last year, which must have given you a fair bit of confidence as well. Like it wasn't Justin at his very best, but it was still Justin Rodriguez, a top 10 Mr. Olympia competitor. You went into the Olympia. I don't think he was at your very best. Dude, you made crazy improvements, and later on, I'll uh, pull up a few of those uh, side by sides from the Olympia compared to the New York Pro. I don't know if you've seen those yet. No, not yet. <laughs> oh, dude, I'll I'll show you while we're talking, but I want to bring up just a few photos while we're quickly discussing this. I don't know how long you've got, but I won't keep you for too long, man, because I know you're obviously busy. But how do you feel now, seeing this on your screen and looking at what you look like on stage at the New York Pro? Because it was a very, very impressive physique and the level of roundness, everyone's comparing you to Dexter Jackson. And I brought up a photo of that while the, the live was on. I put a photo of Dexter and a photo of you doing side chest, this pose, um, side by side. And man, there is a lot of similarities. Have you have you heard that before with the Dexter Jackson comparisons? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, well, when did it start going? I think it was uh, when I was 212 at Olympia is when the Dexter Jackson started running around. And, uh, you know, Dexter's one is one of my all-time favorites so i'm always you know i'll reach out I'll, i've hung out with him in vegas so here and now it's just like a, it, it's it's a blessing like it's something it gives me motivation to something to live up to you know what i mean like you don't want to let the blade down so <laughs> yeah for sure man. Keep absolutely improvements and keep going so that's for sure dude um Another thing is as well, like like you said, you weren't planning to do this show. The plan was Cali originally. And I, I remember saying in many of my videos, like, I think Tonio should do the New York. I don't see why it's one week earlier. He looks ready early. It just makes sense to do New York and make that big impact. And then, hey, you might go two from two and get pick up a couple of 10K checks. So um, when did that, because I, I know I was saying it and I spoke to your coach, Dylan, Dylan Blum, Dylan Blum, however you pronounce it, um, about this and... Um, he, he said, Ben, he was sort of pushed you towards doing it. And I bet, I bet you're glad that you took him up on, on the advice. Yeah. It, well, what happened was, uh, your post you made, Yeah, you started it. <laughs> you started when you said to do the New York pro and then I reposted it and I made a poll and everybody was like, yeah, do it. And then, you know, another few coaches reached out and was like, yo, jump into the New York pro. Like he's ready already. So Dylan talked to me, and then I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Like, you're confident? I'm confident. Let's do it. Yeah, man. Obviously, it paid off, and dude. And we made it happen. You, you and, and really, dude, like, you didn't know who was exactly going to be competing because there's maybe going to be Sergio Oliva Jr., maybe there's going to be Carlos Thomas Jr. Um, all the juniors were going to do it but weren't able, actually able to do that contest. But, you know, Stuart Sutherland came in, and he was a really good competitor too. Like, in any other show, like, we'd be raving about Stuart Sutherland. But the fact that you were there with that freaky shape, like, it almost looks Photoshopped, is that it sort of uh, was able to get the win. And it was uh, damn impressive, man. And I, I just want to say how, how impressive that was. And I do just want to hold you up for another minute, man, and show you this before and after uh, to get your live reaction at how much you actually improved. But how's the, bit, the reception been? And I suppose what... What, what does this do for you, man? Because winning an extra 10K, obviously that, that helps, can help things out. And it's, I know it's a big deal. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, it was a big, you know, coming off a big win. Uh, that's more so why we did so, to have that momentum. Um, just like they said, anyone who's, you know, won New York Pro is carrying some momentum into the uh, Olympia. So that was the biggest thing of doing it. Um, we didn't, 
we knew it was going to be great competitors doing it, which is even better to jump into the lineup. Um, even though, you know, Aliva wasn't there, I don't look at it as a weak lineup. Because if you look at the level of competition that was there, everybody came in shape. There was no one that was, I wouldn't say that was off, really. So I think yeah, it, was exactly. a great, it was a great battle, so... A bunch of guys brought their A game definitely there. Now, I've got one question before I show you these before and afters. Now, the Toronto Pro is one week after the Cali. Is there any chance you would go and do that and try to, like, knock off an Ian Valier, who's like a, you know, guy who's played seventh in the Olympia? Is that anything on your radar whatsoever or not just Cali? No, nah, uh, because we just wanted to do Cali and qualify there and then have this time to just grow for Olympia. So uh, now that we got the New York win, but we already signed contracts for Cali, so we will be there. Um, awesome. After that, we're going to dial it down and focus on, you know, our improvements for Olympia and That's making fair, a healthy body for Olympia. Yeah, exactly. And when you got a healthy body, it responds better. But I just want to quickly show you these before we wrap this thing up, man. So this is oh what God. Fernando Arroyo put up. And, dude, like, that initial photo blows my mind straight away. It's like the thickness, the conditioning's better like it's and i was talking about it if you were i'm not sure how many pounds bigger you were i can't quite remember what your coach said but just say it was five pounds heavier but you were like at least three pounds of conditioning better so it's like eight pounds of tissue in how many months like it's not even that long ago so it's right. pretty <laughs> wild does this does seeing stuff like this i'm going to go through the photos quickly while uh we discuss it does seeing stuff like this motivate you more so like does this make you get more excited for the olympia potentially oh yeah definitely i mean just when you don't think you could do better you know and you see something like this i'm like i can't believe i got on stage like that but <laughs> <laughs> seeing that we can make these improvements i'm i'm definitely looking forward to going into olympia dude look at that side leg what did you what did like did you know you made that improvement in your side leg? Because that's the most wild part to me. And this side chest is just completely like transformed in a matter of months. Yeah, no. So I, when I landed in Houston, you know, one thing Dylan would have me doing is hamstrings nonstop and adductors as well to where to the point of, you know, I'm annoyed now, but I know it's working. But <laughs> he tortured the hell out of me with him. So, I mean, it worked. <laughs> so, so you have the right idea. It. Oh, gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's the one that blows my mind, man. You've gone from having a, a, a – this is a – you don't look at the one on the right. You look at the one on the left. That's a that's a really good front lat spread. This is like cartoon, and that's what a lot of people, man, in my live were saying in the comments. They're like, it's cartoonish what Tonio looks like now. He looks like a cartoon <laughs> character. It's gone to that freakiness because you look like uh, – I don't know if you saw the guy, the classic physique guy recently photoshopping his uh, photos online, and he oh, had this yeah. crazy <laughs> – yeah, he, it's it's like you look like a bigger version of his Photoshop version. That's what it looks <laughs> like, you know. So it's uh, I don't want to give you too big of a head, man, but it's uh, it's very Keep very going. exciting okay. to see. <laughs> but uh, I'll just show you. I think there's one more photo. Uh, there might be two more. I've never one more there. The front double bicep, where obviously very improved as well. But um, dude. Uh, I won't keep you too long. I just wanted to say a massive congratulations. I'm so incredibly happy for you. Obviously, I've been following your career since I did a report on desktop bodybuilding, literally near the start of his channel, when you turned pro. And I was like, I love this guy's muscle bellies. If he can add the size, he can be really good at some point. But I thought that was not going to be this early. You know what I mean? It feels like it was only a couple of years ago now, and now you've ascended to this level where you're already a Mr. Olympia competitor. You've just, you know, knocked off a really good up and comer in Stuart Sutherland. And I think that you're going to be able to knock off bigger names as well, man. So I'm just want to say how incredibly excited I am for you. And, um, uh, I know that, you know, it's, I've seen the same with Samson Dowder where he sort of was, I was talking to him when he was sort of scraping by and now he's like living good, man. And I, I see that in the future for you, as long as you, you stick at it and, and keep on the same path with you and your coach. Oh, yeah, most definitely. It's funny, uh, he's right here, look. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? First time talking person. <laughs> I know, man. Hey, uh, thank, thank you for having him on the podcast or the YouTube. And uh, you've been a lot of support, man. And um, keep in contact with you, man. I really enjoyed your your stuff, man. Anybody who supports us is a friend of ours, man. We, we appreciate it, brother. 
And likewise, man. And you guys have been supportive too. Like I said uh, on Instagram, you share all my stuff out and just about spreading the love. And, you know, you're, you guys are good people. And, and hopefully you see the same in me, man. And uh, we're able to all grow together in our own fields. And I sort of said that the other day to, to your coach, Dylan. And Dylan, how do you pronounce your last name? Is it Blum or Bloom? It's Blum. Thank you for asking. Blum. <laughs> okay. Because I always say, <laughs> I always say it wrong. What is it? What do you mean? Like, like a plum, but a blum. You know? <laughs> I, I appreciate you asking, man. Yeah, okay. You're better with it. <laughs> yeah. And I always put an accent when I say it. I'm like, classic Blum. I don't, yeah. like it. I don't know why. I love it, bro. <laughs> you can say however you want as long as you use that accent. <laughs> Awesome. All right. I'll make sure I do that, Ben. But um, thank you guys so much for coming on um, Desktop Bodybuilding. It's been awesome to have you on. We'll have to do it again sometime soon for sure. And uh, Tonio, do you have anything you want to shout out, your Instagram handle or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Tonio, the Predator Burton's the Instagram. Um, shout out to Celsius for backing me up like they've been. Um, Bad Labs, Your Cradle, uh, Titan as well. So definitely uh, been a blast having the support that we have in the biggest Shout out one of the biggest shout outs to, you know, my coach too, because he dealt with a lot of my ir- irritable moments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know there's a lot of those in bodybuilding, man. I just wanted to show everyone what you look like as well, um, just as a reminder uh, for any other future sponsors uh, as well uh, that want to come and contact you, because I imagine you're going to have a few knocking on your door after this contest, man. And also something just flew into my eye, so it's made my eye completely start watering, <laughs> which is not convenient, but... Um... <laughs> But you're crying for me. It's okay, bro. <laughs> oh man, it, man, it feels like that. I'm like wanting to wipe my eye, but then it looks like I'm crying, so I'm trying to avoid it. But uh, we'll just roll with it. I'm emotional, man. I'm emotional. But um, thank you guys so much for coming on once again. That's Tony Burton and uh, Dylan Blum, <laughs> or Dylan Blum, uh, as we like to say. Uh, make sure you check him out on social media. If you want to sponsor him, hit him up on social media. I'm sure he'll get back to you. And uh, that's it for this one. So for myself, Xavier Wills, Dylan Blum, and the Predator, Tonio Burton, your 2023 New York Pro Champion, we are out. Hope you guys enjoyed this one-on-one interview. And if you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of all future one-on-one interviews that go up here on Desktop Bodybuilding. Also, we've got Bodybuilding University, which is our podcast, which features guys like Brett Wilkin, Martin Fitzwater, Nathan D'Asher, Stanimal, Stan DeLongeau, and then we've had guests like Urs Kalachinsky, Nick Walker, and a whole bunch of other big names as well. So make sure you check that out. And uh, if you do subscribe as well, you'll be getting the daily Bodybuilding News live. So definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell button and uh, join all the content that's coming in 2023 from myself, Xavier Wills here at Desktop Bodybuilding. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Desktop Bodybuilding, I'm Xavier Wills, we are out.